Look, I know that tripods aren't very exciting things to watch for videos unless you're really, really looking for a new tripod. So I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet like the Manfrotto Compact Advanced Aluminum. All right, all jokes aside, I wanna talk about this very capable, very small, that gets very tall tripod, which is a great travel tripod, except for one major design flaw. Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I wanna to help you travel smarter by reviewing this Manfrotto Compact and showing you what makes it such a great travel tripod, except for one design feature that might not make it the ideal tripod for you. Let's start with the primary feature of this tripod, its folded size. This is an aluminum body when folded is about 44 centimeters with a weight of 1.4 kilograms. You've got five sections here that allow this tripod to extend up to 165 centimeters, which can comfortably get you at eye level depending on how tall you are, especially when using this center column to add about an extra 20 centimeters to the height of this tripod. That center column is locked with the screw here, which doesn't feel like the highest quality, but it works. Now, one other thing that I don't like on the head here is that it doesn't have, it doesn't have a level. So you can't really see if you're even and on a floor. When you're indoors, it's nice to have that so you can kind of figure out whether or not you're completely level and then you have less to do in post-production and trying to adjust your frame. So that's one thing that I don't like and I wish that this tripod had. Another thing that I wish this tripod had, see this right here? You can't hang your camera from it. So it doesn't really have an attachment so that you can just sort of hook the camera so that you can use it for shots. Where let's say you wanna shoot like down on the floor, you maybe wanna shoot down like that. Maybe you wanna shoot sideways lower like this or sideways like this. So there are a lot of things that you can do when you have that sort of center column that you can sort of hang your tripod off of and I wish it had that as well. The legs are held in place with these flip locks which are solid and I generally prefer these locking mechanisms to the twist locks you find on some other tripods. The feet are hard plastic, not flexible but not bad, just nothing special. The frame here can hold up to three kilograms and when tilting this tripod 90 degrees, the camera lens combos that are under this weight feel very sturdy. It doesn't feel like they're gonna tip over the tripod. Again, very surprising for this light of a tripod. And another thing has these arms. So if you look at these arms right here, it don't open up flat. Now that's not something that I use too often, but it is nice to have the tripod be able to go entirely flat, sort of like a gorilla pod. So if I take this camera off the Gorilla Pod, see, I can kind of see how I can make that really flat if I want to get really down. It's sort of at this level, you know, if I'm shooting from here, it's nice to have the tripod be able to go completely flat. Unfortunately, with Manfrotto, it's always going to be in this widest point. So you can't really get it any flatter down toward the ground. Again, nothing that's a complete deal breaker. And for a lot of people, those things are not gonna matter. But those are some things that would be nice to have. And you could probably do it with the construction of this small tripod and not add too much weight or really any weight to it just by adding those couple of features. Overall, the frame is very well built considering the price and the size. And the exterior seems very resistant to scratching, which is very useful, especially since this is the kind of tripod you're going to take in and out of a bag pack it in and out of your stuff very frequently because let's face it, this is a travel tripod. That's what all these specs are. That's what the limitation to all these specs are. Now, if you're looking for a full-size tripod, you don't necessarily want a travel tripod. You're shooting mostly at home or in a fixed location. Then you've got a lot wider options to choose from when you're thinking about a regular tripod. But when it comes to these small travel tripods, there aren't too many of them that are actually useful, that are actually well-built that you would trust your expensive camera on, and this Manfrotto is one of those, except for that design feature flaw, that just design choice that Manfrotto made, which makes this a really tough sell for a lot of people. Moving up to the top, a few things. First, this is a tripod that's good for photography, but geared towards videos. That's because of this smooth pan and tilt motion, great for panning shots when the motion shouldn't be jerky. And the pan and tilt are both smooth, no complaints there. The main issue I find that makes this tripod a tough purchase 
are the dual arms for pan and tilt. First of all, they bunch up when you break this tripod down, which doesn't seem the most economical in terms of space savings. Then to use the tripod, you've got to first pan up, then unscrew the tilt handle so it gets out of the way. Then you can pan and tilt more comfortably with those arms there. And when you move that tilt handle out of the way, it's still kind of in the way. So you're gonna move this tilt handle over here out of the way. You see that, but still kind of in the way of the pen handle. It's really just, it's frustrating to use. And I read the reviews, I saw the reviews, and I really liked the tripod. And I figured I can get over this. I can just use this tripod. I will just get used to this design feature, this quirk. And like a lot of stuff where I don't completely like the design, I'll just get used to it. And I just couldn't get used to it. It was really frustrating. I spent more time messing with this thing than I was focusing on my shots. And it was just frustrating. And I think a lot of you will find that also frustrating even though this is a really nice tripod for a lot of reasons. It's a shame though, because this Manfrotto Compact has a lot to like about it, but you'd probably be better off getting a travel tripod that has a ball head, especially if you're using it for video. You'll still get the smooth panning and the tilting. You'll also get access to a lot more micro angles. They kind of really adjust very specifically. It'll keep the weight and the size down of this sort of bulky top part here. You don't have to mess with the arms. If you're doing a lot of photography, you might be able to get over these dual handles. You might just get used to it. And it's worth getting the Manfrotto if you can to try it out before you just completely write it off. Because there is, like I said, a lot to like about it. But I think for most of you, it's gonna be a deal breaker on an otherwise very small and sturdy travel tripod. Thanks for watching. I hope I've been able to keep this tripod review short and sweet. But if I didn't cover all of your questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And on your way down, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.